Welcome back. In this unit of our art class, we are going to be studying about the idea of modern art. Now, modern art is a time or a style of art that we're going to be looking at, and we're going to hone in on very one very specific part of modern art, but I want to give you the general idea about modern art to start with. Modern art started in about the 1860s and continued up until about the 1970s. During this time frame, it took on many different forms, but the general idea was a move away from traditional artwork. Um, prior to the 1860s, there was a very uh, pointed way that artists made art. And after that time, during kind of the Industrial Revolution, uh, artists wanted to move away from what had already been done. They wanted to be more expressive, more experimental, and it tried to change the way that artwork was really perceived by the general public. Now, that being said, um, let's talk about the difference between naturalistic art and abstract art. Okay, Naturalistic art um, is art that was trying to represent things in a natural way. And of course, here we have um, Mona Lisa by, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, one of the more famous artworks in the world and in art history. Um, and the idea was to copulate or em copy or emulate nature. Um, usually it was clearly understandable. The artist is trying to represent something. There were sometimes underlying layers of... Um, of abstract concepts within these paintings, uh, especially during the Baroque period or during the Renaissance, but for the most part all of the images were very understandable. Now abstract art, which is a part of the modern art movement, wanted to go away from that. Um, instead of making something that was more representational and looking at nature, they wanted to simplify or exaggerate things to make a statement, make things different colors, take things that were non-representational. For example, this work here by Robert Delaney. Um, and in his work, uh, a lot of his work had to do with like planetary alignment, and spheres, and different colors, and really trying to create a work of art out of just the basic shapes and basic colors, intermediate colors, but that would give an overall feel to the work. A lot of abstract art tends to be conceptual dealing with ideas rather than just seeing things. Now, we're going to go closer into um, looking at Delaney's work. So prior to his work, Cubism was a very big movement. It was created, of course, by Picasso. And the idea was abstraction, moving away from that naturalism. Instead of having a, a normal portrait that you might understand, looking at objects from different uh, representational frames from different planes and creating something that would show multiple perspectives within one picture. So one way I like to describe it to students is um, if you look at the different uh, angles of a face you can see different colors bouncing off those different angles and then if you were to take a mirror that's shattered you kind of can see all of the different parts from a different angle almost, especially if you tilt the mirror just a little bit here and there. And um, cubism kind of gave that feel to a painting. It kind of gave you a look into multiple perspectives of the same picture. So this uh, portrait of Kahnweiler by Picasso gives kind of one view of his eye here, a one view of his hair here and his hair over here. And they're all kind of fractured and those planes are tilted to show something different than what you might see if you're painting in a naturalistic way. Now, as we moved on to non-objectivism or orphism, um, Robert Delaney, the painter that we're going to be studying in this unit, he tried to make non-objective paintings. Objectives um, that was abstract and usually got its idea from abstraction, but then got to a simpler state, which was using just geometric forms and tried to convey a feeling of simplicity. If we move back to our first slide here, this one Robert Delaney did earlier in his career, and you can clearly see the Eiffel Tower set against the Parisian backdrop, but these shapes that he's got in here are very like cubistic in the way that they're represented, where his later work was simpler and just focused on the geometric shapes. Now, the concept was to start um, started with recognizable forms but quickly moved from that cubist manner towards pure abstraction okay and his purpose was 
to explore color relationships and imbue color with meaning and create abstract color juxtapositions. Now, he worked closely with his wife, Sonia Delaney, and they both kind of founded this idea of orphism, which was looking at that color and creating color. They worked alongside um, Vasily Kandinsky, who was very into creating meaning out of color. And he had this whole philosophy and an, an entire book that he wrote about how he believed that colors could show feeling, that colors had and created meaning, and that you could actually uh, paint a symphony based on the ideas of color relating to feelings and color relating to music. All right, and if I just take you to the next slide and show you this one, you can see that color, when juxtaposed against either, uh, each other, can look very much different. These red rectangles here are all exactly the same red. But when the red is placed against a blue background, it looks different. And when that red is placed against a yellow background, it will look different. Likewise, on the bottom here, these blue rectangles or squarish shapes are all the same, whereas these interior rectangles are all different. And again, you'll see that these two reds, which are exactly the same, look very different, one against a blue background, one against a green background. Okay. Now today, we're going to start our drawing and our painting composition based on Robert Delaney. All right, we're going to go to the next video and we're going to talk about drawing um, out your own composition, making some of your own artistic choices, and then we'll walk into painting that picture in the following lessons. Thank you for joining us and that is our description of modern art for our Robert Delaney painting project.